Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jasmine and welcome. So for today's video, it's been highly requested on how I do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows, my contouring, and everything else. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do all that and actually show you guys a little bit more in detail. So I'm sorry if I look super dead. I'm telling you I need some vitamin D because like look how pale I am. <laughs> but to start off my makeup routine, I always do my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use for my eyebrows and what I've been using lately. So I did for a while use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I loved it but the pencil on it always kept breaking. So I just gave up on that and I've been using literally two products on my eyes. So for the first product, you can use any eyeshadow palette or any eyeshadow that matches your hair color, anything that you feel comfortable with. But this is how I've been doing like my feathery eyebrow look. So I've been using this Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow and it's in a roasted chestnut. So it literally just looks like this. If it focuses, it looks like this. And then just like this time, I barely even dipped into it. So it's gonna last me forever. But I know it can be tricky to use eyeshadow as your as a product for your eyebrows because you can get carried away. But for that, I use a spoolie. It's my Morphe M158 brush. And it kind of just looks like this. Pick it up. It looks like this. So it has a spoolie at the end. And at the very tip, it has just a flat angle brush. And this is the only thing I use to apply my eyeshadow. <laughs> my eyeshadow. <laughs> it's the only thing I use to apply for my eyebrows. And I, it's been working. How long have I been doing that? I think for the, like since last summer I've been doing my eyebrows like this and it's taken me a while to find an eyebrow that I like because I used to do like the thick bold one but I've come to terms that the feathery one makes my face look a little bit better <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys how I do that so what I first do I'll bring you guys closer too sorry I'm really ugly <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like to do first is I like to comb my eyebrows and I like to style them how I want them to look. So if you guys can tell, just by combing them how much better they already look. So all I'm doing is literally brushing my eyebrow up and then shaping them so that I can just follow my natural line that I have down here with like the natural eyebrow and just like fill it in that way. So I just brush it up like this. And then with my, the, angled side of the brush i'm just gonna dip into my product literally just one tap in and that literally picks up a lot of product so i just do that so what i do first is i line the bottom of my brow like this like that you can already see it's kind of like angling at it and then i go a little bit and i just shade it in and i dip my brush once to get the tail i dip a little bit again just to do like right here and whatever is on there I literally just brush it into my brow like this and I start bringing it forward so you guys can see I'm not, I hopefully I stay in you see it's already shading in my brow so I'm just gonna do that until I feel like I need more product in my brow so like now I've been brushing it in there and I need a little bit of more product so I'm just gonna literally just this is how I do I'm gonna just show you guys like I literally just go like like that okay then you don't need a lot of product because sometimes it can be a lot and a little goes a long way so just keep brushing it in there so I literally you guys saw me line the bottom of my brow like this and then now I just go forward That. And whatever I have left, I should start doing the front end of my brow. And then this part, I kind of go upward so I can shape the front of my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to comb and make sure there's no patchy spots in my brow. Because sometimes I can miss them. So now I'm just going to go again and dip. And then start shading a little bit more of my tail. 
done like shading it in you shape it to how you want it and then after that what makes the brow look a lot nicer and not just like powdered on there is concealer to clean up your brow so any concealer works um i've come to the terms that my la pro concealer it's not too thick or or too thin of a concealer and what brush i use i just use this eyeliner bazoot 90 from sephora if you can find another spoolie that has like a really flat tapered brush angled brush that would work that find that that works for me i mean any brush works fine i just think this one kind of like makes it more clean of a cut when you clean it so it's just like a very thin brush so you guys can see it's very thin thin angled brush I clean the end of my eyebrow and then I go to the front just to make sure that it's a clean cut. And then when I'm cleaning it, I brush it down the concealer so that it's not so harsh on the brow. So whenever I'm done, I can just blend it out Oh my god, look at the difference on my brows. <laughs> That's scary. But now for the best part of this whole thing that I have come to terms that makes your eyebrow more defined and better is your eyebrow gel. Eyebrow gel is going to be your best friend for your brows. So what I use, I use my clear brow gel from Anastasia and it comes in like a little chrome cr or whatever this is container and all i do <laughs> oh my gosh focus all i do is get a little bit and then brush up my eyebrow just like that and this will hold literally all day that's one brow done okay i'm gonna go do the other one off the camera and then we'll get to the rest of my face so what i like to do i'm not a big foundation person just because it looks really cakey sometimes i just like to use concealer so what i use for concealer i use my age rewind my age rewind uh concealer by maybelline i put some under my eye there's like a slot like this oh, right there. and then i go one two three glide one two three and then i never put anything on my forehead um because i break out <laughs> my forehead's like just not clearing up because I put some on there and it did it again. So me, for myself, I do have a lot of like wrinkle under my eyes. So what I like to do is, so after moisturizing, I moisturize with my Pond's Dry Skin Care. And I showed this on my last video for my skincare routine. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. It's amazing. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I just like to tap it in with my finger because it's more warmth and it melts into your skin and it makes my concealer last all day so just tap it in wow look at the difference on my face after putting on concealer okay and after that i get my wet beauty blender and it's damp it's not like drenched and then i just pat in the rest of my concealer around my face and the only reason why I do this right now because I have like literally no tan so I match all around <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys other stuff that I like to do to my face is a little different Ooh, my hair. wow my face already looks so much better and it's just concealer and then I just tap in a little bit not too much Just like that. I've been using my Anastasia Cream Contouring Kit. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's the lightest one to brighten up my face because I need it. And I'm just going to get a flat brush and then just put it on. So wherever I already have my concealer, I'm just going to go right here. And on the back of that brush, I'm going to mix these two colors to contour maybe I shouldn't have done it with the same brush but and then I'm just gonna go one two three and again get those two and then I'm gonna do a little bit of my 
forehead just a tiny bit since I didn't really do much down there. And then sun on top of my lip, that, and then on the bottom, and then literally down here. Just like that. <laughs> oh my god, I look funny. And, and I'm gonna do all the white first. chisel my neck look wow now that I have all that I'm gonna go in with my air spun if I don't use my air spun I use my Laura Mercier translucent powders but I'm gonna go ahead with air spun today and I'm just gonna do that under my eyes and just a little bit it goes a long way I'm just gonna tap it in just like this and I don't need much because you don't want to do too much of the setting powder because then it like cakes on too much and then to set my whole face, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro face in the shade Cosmic Irie. Looks like this. It's just pat it in. You don't ever want to swipe because when you swipe, you lift the product up. So what I like to contour with, I like to contour with my Kat Von D Contouring Palette. Shade and Light Palette. So I'm going to go in with these two shades specifically. And wherever I applied all that contour, I'm going to go in and apply it with powder. And I'm going to use a angled fluffy brush like this. I'm using my E4 Morphe brush. So literally, I'm just tapping back and forth to get those two colors. And then I'm just going to, when I apply this, I'm going to angle my brush down but go towards my hair. So that it looks like my face is getting lifted and not pointed down. Like, more like up instead of like frowning down you know that makes sense so i'm just going to do that like this and you're just gonna pat in you guys can see i'm pushing up just like that. to do that and then i use bronzer on top and i use my hula bronzer by benefit and it's just like a little thing i've come to love this this is my everyday use i'm going to use my e48 brush and then all I do is tap into it like this and then not too far down my cheek just towards right at my temples I'm going to rub that in like this and for blush I like to use a more settling brush so blush I've been using my warm soul blush by MAC and I love it. I've had it for a while. And what I've been doing is I start right here, the apples on my cheek, and then brush up to match my contour. Like this. So now we're going to highlight. Before highlighting, I like to set my face because we've been using a lot of powders. I use my Setting Mist by Morphe and just apply. <laughs> and then now for highlight, I've been using my, my highlighter vol volume 3 by Juvia's and it's this beautiful highlight. It's like a bronzy champagne. Well, I go in with a like a fluffy tiny brush like this and then I just start highlighting wherever I want my highlight. Look at that. Ooh, and the reason why I Set my face before I do my highlight is so that my highlight can pop. Right, and to finish off this look, I'm just going to apply some lip gloss. And I've been loving my Juice Infused Lip Oil by Ulta. And I just apply that on my lips. But yeah, this is how I did it. It's taken me a while to get my own like techniques down, which will take you guys to get your own techniques down too because you cannot do how everybody else does it because everybody else's face is different, eyes is different, you know? And then you end up liking what you like. So I decided to stop 
trying to do my makeup like everybody else and just do it how I like it and kind of get used to certain techniques that work best for me but look at that highlight <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it was helpful if you guys haven't already please like comment share and subscribe if you guys haven't already please click the little bell down below so you guys can get a notification for every time I upload see you guys on my next one bye guys